Are you ready for your next comedian? Yeah! So am I. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this next comic, I don't know how long I've been, but he has been a close person for probably seven, eight years. Put it together one time for Steve Cox. Oh, uh, Cap City, how you guys doing? Are you guys like me? Do you think we're kind of at the point we can stop worrying about the 2012 election? I think Obama's kind of got this one in the bag at this point. I think he's pretty much on the verge of having the most decisive victory by a black man since Passenger 57. <laughs> I do love this country though. We just take things like way too seriously here. And one of the things that drives me nuts is the whole green movement thing. I think it's entirely too overplayed. These people, say, they just make it the stupidest thing to complain about. Like, Steve, if we don't stop our wasteful ways in 40 years, Florida's gonna be underwater. Who gives a shit? <laughs> that sounds like a Florida problem to me. <laughs> Illegal immigration's a big deal in this country. That at least takes care of the Cubans. <laughs> we have to go out of our way to protect Mother Nature. Why? Mother Nature seems kind of like a bitch to me. <laughs> Tornadoes, hurricanes, bees, all these terrible things. <laughs> but we have to help her? I say we go the other way. I say take old car batteries and throw them in Barton Springs. <laughs> Tomorrow, if you're out on a walk, step on a flower. You'll feel better about yourself. <laughs> I like to step on a dandelion myself, that way you get to crush a flower and a wish at the same time. Woo! People just take it too seriously. I'll give you an example, I was at work the other day and I threw away one of the little plastic six pack rings that uh, Cokes and beers come in, I threw it in the trash and this lady I work with is like, oh my god, Steve, what are you doing? I was like, I'm throwing away trash. And she's like, no, you need to recycle that, you need to cut it up. And I was like, why? And she's like, have you ever seen? A baby sea otter with one of those stuck around its neck? I was like, yes, I have, and it's adorable. <laughs> it's like a little plastic necktie. <laughs> Somebody's going to the cutest business meeting ever. <laughs> I don't really know how to like start this next joke, so I'm just going to jump into it. I uh, tried to come on a girl's face the other night. <laughs> don't judge me. I'm going to tell you why uh, I watched a porno, and everybody in the porno seemed really excited about it happening. And like to the point where everybody's like, this is the greatest thing ever, and I wanted to bring this into the bedroom. So I'm with this girl, and uh, I don't know how to tell her I'm going to do this. There's no like Hallmark card for this occasion. So I figured, surprise. Let's have a surprise. Everybody loves surprises. So I'm going in for the, uh, the Pearl Harbor, if you will. And as I'm about to do this, she makes eye contact with me and she instantly knows what I'm going to do. Instantly. And she goes, you're not going to come on my face. I was like, that's not what, I was just stretching because my back hurts. And she goes, seriously, you're not coming on my face, it's disrespectful. At which point I have to step back and say, listen, I picked you up at an IHOP. <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning, where you were working the graveyard shift. Respect never had anything to do with this equation. Of course, I'm kidding. I can't pick up an IHOP waitress. You gotta be some kind of pimp for that. Waffle House is more my speed. Speaking of great places to pick up women, I applied at Walmart the other day. And they hired me, but I turned them down because I've been to Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning. I've seen their hiring practices. And I don't think it's for me. It kind of looks like they had a job fair at the mountain from the hills have eyes. <laughs> Not going to compare a Walmart employee to a carny, but it's pretty close. Plus, I'm pretty sure no self-respecting carny would work at Walmart. <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall during the interview process there. Well, Mr. Johnson, I'm going over your resume here, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Under uh, hobbies, you put meth labs and throwing rocks at Mexicans. <laughs> now, Mr. Johnson, I think I speak for everybody here at Walmart when I say welcome aboard. 
and we think you're going to make a fantastic pharmacist. <laughs> like every other comedian that's been up here tonight, I'm single, which sucks because I'm 31 years old and single. So like the, 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 the clock is ticking for me, so I don't know how to, I'm not good at picking up women, so I go to bars because like, we're going to meet women, bars. And it never like, picking up women at bars never works out how I think it, it, think it will. Because I go in like expecting just to meet this really hot girl and buy her a drink and go home and come on her face. <laughs> it never works out like that. I always feel like I'm on a really shitty game show. And I've got this announcer's voice running through my head the whole night, like, well, Steve, you wanted to come out to the bar tonight and pick up the most attractive woman here, but instead you're getting a consolation prize to the 42-year-old divorcee is a mother of three. She says she does Pilates, but does she really? <laughs> Which I think is only fair because going through her head at the same time is, hey, you know the guy down into the bar has been buying her drinks all night and says he's a doctor? Notice how he's paying for everything in crumpled $1 bills. <laughs> What's that, Steve? You wanted a bonus prize? Well, how about some shame when you make eye contact with her seven-year-old on the way to the restroom in the morning? <laughs> and guys, I'll leave you on this. If you're gonna have a one-night stand with a girl with kids, take advantage of that. Because as you're about to sneak out that window, check the fridge first. So I'm pretty sure there's a snack pack or something in there. You can get a carbo left. Thank you, Cap. <laughs>